Congratulations on winning the 2021 Concept Car of the Year from Car Design News. It's the O2 Roadster, which of course was the precursor of the Polestar 6. And this award is a little bit different than other awards. So tell us what it's like. How does it feel to you to win this award? Well, what makes that award special is that it's judged by peers in the industry. So um, that design directors from, from all different brands. And it's, it's a nice, the whole, the whole judging process is a nice experience because we, we, do, um, we do respect each other a lot and, we, and it's a nice feeling to be recognized, but it's also a great feeling to recognize your peers in that process. And storytelling, of course, is always a big part of design. So obviously when going through the process for this car, there was a story behind it. Can you walk us through kind of from the first sketches, actually from the brief through the first sketches to iteration to model what your journey was like creating this car with your team? The O2 is special for us because it is, it is the halo car for the brand. And a brand with our aspiration needs a car of this kind of um, status uh, in the lineup and it also really clearly as the success of the Polestar 1 which used to be the last halo car it really uh, symbolizes the um, the evolution from Volvo cars so it's clearly its own statement in terms of design and it symbolizes Polestar. So going along with that, maybe talking some more specifics, you like to say that each Polestar has a character created by characters, meaning the personalities of the people on your design team. So obviously there are going to be certain design cues that every Polestar has, such as the lighting signature and things like that. But can you tell us some specific elements that give this car its unique character? I mean, obviously the body style, but what are some other things? What we always strive for is when, when we look at Polestar as a brand, we want to bring this very modern, very technolo technology inspired robotic um, graphics and style into the car. But we do really focus on the basic car design sculptural qualities. And I think that's a lot of times a little bit um, uh, neglected nowadays, the real craftsmanship behind doing car design. And that goes back uh, decades. Uh, and we've, we, we learn this, we should learn it in, in school, we should learn it in our careers. Um, and I think what this car really demonstrates is the nice balance between this extreme, modern, um, avant-garde, uh, graphic design inspired uh, theme and the body that is extremely sculptural. And we are a quite small team and this, uh, uh, and we, we really distill, that's my task in a way, and that's what I see as my task, is to distill the characters of the individuals and the team into the designs. So we really carry that through. And we also keep people involved from the first sketch to the final production car. We don't change teams. And that really leads to, to this uh, strong character all the way through to the end. So being a small team, I know that you have to work pretty nimbly because you don't have a really big group of people, which can be good and bad. So can you give us a little bit of insight on how that team works together? I mean, you mentioned that they collaborate from the beginning, but what is it like working with a team at Polestar versus maybe another big group like you used to work at? I've worked for companies where there were 15, sometimes 15 proposals for one, for one specific car model, but we don't have that luxury. And I think it's a, it's a good thing because it puts the individual much more on the spot. We have to deliver. Um, and that also comes with accountability and that comes with responsibility. So uh, there, is, there, is no, there is no safety net. So we, we just, the individuals deliver in the team and beautifully so. And if they don't, then we all have to step in and fix it together. You say you like to work a lot digitally, but at the end of the day, there are some things that working by hand and doing in clay cannot replace. So where do you think your studio falls in that balance between digital versus sort of analog and traditional design techniques? We work quite digital, I would say pretty much exclusively, but then we have, we, I really want to keep the possibility for the team to resolve certain areas in clay. So we, have, we still have the capability to do so, but we're really digital in general. And talking about Polestar kind of more as a brand on a higher level, Polestar is a Scandinavian luxury brand. 
in a way that almost seems like a dichotomy. I mean, we're here in Sweden. It's a very egalitarian culture. So there's this sense uh, that people don't want to be too ostentatious. They don't want to show off too much. So how, um, in your planning and in your philosophy, I guess, how do you reconcile sort of these almost two contrasting mm. ideas and express that through the design? I think minimalism has never been an issue to communicate or to, to create in Scandinavia because we, we all live it somewhat. But luxury is, is an, interesting, an interesting factor. And I remember starting at Volvo 10 years ago. I think that was the biggest step to, to take that brand to a luxury level in terms of the design execution or the design um, message because as you said society isn't really and, and, and the cars volvo cars weren't considered luxury here in sweden because everybody has a volvo but that internationally these cars are extremely um, highly regarded as premium or luxury products um, that was a certain journey to internally create that mindset and I think with Polestar, we are at a different level already. When you look at the um, lineup that we have and the type of products that we have and the price points that we have and the performance levels that we have, I think um, luxury and performance is much more natural to this brand from the, from the get-go. And talking about color and materials, I know sustainability is a really big pillar of Polestar's brand. And a lot of the materials, you're working with suppliers, obviously there's a challenge in the industry that you can't just show up and get something that's sustainable and durable. You really have to, it has to be a collaboration. So how is Polestar leading the way in terms of um, kind of doing this push to make the industry better as a whole? We've recently discovered that the closer we work with uh, fashion industry or get inspired or collaborate, uh, the more, the quicker we learn about materials and technologies that can be implemented into our industry because they are a step ahead since their products are not so they don't have these durability um, uh, requirements as ours do so we can really get inspired by the way how they bring in sustainability in their case tracing the product beyond its lifetime is very difficult because people don't it's easier to throw a garment away and then you lose track of where it is. So recycling gets harder. That's their challenge. But our challenge is to get the first step right, which is making these materials durable enough to withstand years and years uh, in their life cycle in the car industry. So along with that, I mean, obviously things will continue to improve. Everybody will continue to learn and develop new techniques. What are you most looking forward to in the next few years of Polestar's future? We're going to launch one car each year now, and we've been, you know how it works in the design field, we've been, some of them are completed for us, so we are working on, the, on, on, on topics beyond that. But for us now is the big moment where all these products will be um, going public, and it's, it's extremely exciting. We have this new space now, we have a home, um, and yeah, the next years are going to be wild for us. And this is great. Yes, you're right. We are in your brand new design studio that just opened two days ago. So we feel very privileged to be here and just want to congratulate you again, Max, and the design team for winning the award on the O2 Roadster. And we look forward to seeing what's next. Thanks a lot.